Hello, welcome back to Algebra 1. We're going to solve some equations, some final equations with a variable on both sides. These are going to be a little different. Uh, when we get to the final answer, you'll see what I mean. So I really want to make sure you understand this. What if we have 1 third times 12 minus 6x is equal to 4 minus 2x? And we want to obviously solve for x. There's a million ways you can go about it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute the 1 third in to each term, and then we'll try to collect like terms and go from there. So what is 1 third times 12? You can just write that as 1 third times 12. And then we have the 1 third times the negative 6, so it'll be negative 1 third times, I shouldn't say 6, times 6x, like this. And on the right-hand side, you're still going to have 4 minus 2x, like this. So what we have is 12 on the top and 3 on the bottom. So 12 divided by 3 is 4 and then we have the minus sign, and then what we'll have here is 6x on the top if we do the multiplication, and 3 on the bottom. Um, 6 divided by 3 is 2, so it's going to be 2x, like this, is equal to 4 minus 2x. <clears throat> so what we want to do is get all of the x's by themselves. So let me rewrite the equation and show you something interesting. 4 minus 2x is equal to 4 minus 2x. First of all, that looks a little bit weird, that the left-hand side and the right-hand side are both the same. But let's pretend you didn't notice that, and you just knew that you really wanted to get the x's together. So let's try to do that. How would you move this over here to combine it? You would add 2x to both sides. So we will add 2x to the left, and we'll add 2x to the right. Now what happens? You see on the left-hand side, I have negative 2x plus 2x, so this gives me 0. And on the right, I have also negative 2x plus 2x, so I have 0. 